this is Jan from the University of Westphalia. Today I'm going to give you a brief instruction on how to install ROS on your machine. ROS provides libraries and software to communicate with robots. So if you have big interest in communicating or using different robots, then you should use ROS. So, I am, I'm going to use this website www.ros.org slash wiki to help you help you through the installation. So, if you go on that website, you start clicking install. Here you can see that Ubuntu is supported by ROS. So I assume you already have Ubuntu installed on your computer. So, first thing that, that you have to do, you have to decide or you have to know what version of Ubuntu you are using. Are you using 10.4 or 10.10? .10? I'm using 10.10, .10, so I should be using this line to tell your computer that he sh should accept software from ROS.org. So I open my terminal and copy it in here and press enter. I have to enter my sudo password because I just opened my terminal. Right, next thing what we have to do is set up our keys. Just copy that line put it into your terminal again and press enter. Next thing is we have to we have to make sure that your repositories are updated, are up to date and um, use the re-indexed ROS server. So this is what we'll do. We'll do sudo apt get update. So right then the next thing what we have to decide is what version of ROS we want to use. We will use the ROS Diamond Pack full because all the packages that we need are, is already installed in this version. So we just copy this line here again, sudo apt-get install ROS Diamond Pack full, paste it into our terminal window and then press enter. For now I won't press enter because I already have ROS installed. It's really easy. So the next thing is what we have to do. We have to pass the ROS environment variables into our bash RC. So this is what we do. We use gedit for our favorite text editor and then dot bash rc. Of course you can use any other text editor you like. Right. Now we just have to pass this line of code right here. See, I've already done it. You save your bash rc again close your window and that's it for the moment. You've got ROS installed successfully on your computer. In the next lessons we'll have a brief, in, we have a quick look on the tutorials and what, what the power and what the magic of ROS really is all about. So thank you for your attention and goodbye.